everybody. Hello. We're back for day five of our 100 day art project. So today I very was very, very inspired by Christina Betts's last post that she just did, an art journal thing that she did. So I'm, I'm trying to do my version of what she did and I just loved it. It was so cool, very cool. So I was inspired by Christina Betts and so I'm gonna use some of the techniques that she had. So I just painted this page and dried it with gesso just to give it a little bit more teeth in it. And I'm about to take some, uh, where did I put them? Some stencils and some molding. And I'm going to put some um, light, is it called mold molding? What's that stuff called? Mold medium, yeah, I think. <laughs> Richard, can you hand me that jar? My brain is not working today. Which one? The white one, that one. This one? Yeah, what does it say on it? It says uh, light molding. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know what... <laughs> Anyways, I'm using this and some stencils. So there won't be much to see because it's going to be white on white. But then I'm going to go in and spray some delusion sprays all on top of it. And my page kind of theme today is my, I am so tired. I cannot get my butt in gear. And I mean tired, sleep tired. I just don't even know what's going on. I can't wake up. All I'm doing is sleeping. So I'm glad that we have this to do because it's kind of like Richard's, it's kind of like a job and you get disciplined and you're coming out here. So it's a really gloomy, rainy, snowy kind of day. And so we're cozy in the art cabin. So Richard, what are you up to today? Today I am starting with my youngest grandchild and I'm going to do all six of them. Maybe not all in a row, but today I'm starting with Indy. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a pencil drawing of Indy. Are you going to um, just carry, are you coloring them in? Everyone will be a little bit different. Okay. I'm not too cool. sure exactly what I'm going to do with each one, but you'll know who it is when I'm drawing it. But then when I, what I do with it, with the details, you just don't know yet. I'm not too sure. Cool. Well, that's cool. So I'm just grabbing my uh, stencils and some ephemera. Uh, this ephemera Abby sent me a uh, scrap and Abby from hmm, from Florida. Uh, this cool thing and this one. So I want to use these in my piece. Oh, sure. So I'm not sure if you can see the molding there. There was something on that mold there, but it won't matter because I'm going to be spray painting it. But there's some butterflies down here, a face here sort of a spider webby thing and something here and some dots over here and so it's kind of raised so if I go like that you can see see so I'm gonna take delusion spray right now and just spray around I should have brought um, some baby wipes out here but I'll just use a napkin or paper towel to um, you know blot up the extra so we have some up here and Richard is just um, continuing on with his sketch. It's kind of hard to just pick it up and show you, you know what I mean? Just like the thing yesterday. I might have to, this is gonna run because the table's at an angle, but oh well. And then I'll just blot it a little bit. And then you know when you blot, you guys probably already know this already, but when you blot things on a, napkin keep those napkins because you can use them for background papers that's how I did on the cover it wasn't a napkin but still you know what I mean because they get covered in all this yummy stuff it was so cold in here and now it is so hot so funny how fast it gets hot sip That's pretty. The purple and the pink. I mean the blue and the purple. Oh my god. The blue and the pink turned this lovely purpley color. Very neat. How is yours coming? It's coming. Just gotta concentrate on what am I? This uh, little, little old mouth. 
He's so cute. He is. I wish I had baby wipes because they're a little wetter and it's easier. Let's see. But I do not want to go in the house. No, I don't. Oh, Richard, I forgot to tell you. We got a couple of comments. You know that bottle of water we had sitting here yesterday? Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of people thought it was uh, orange juice. Oh. And they're like, uh, Richard dipped his paintbrush in his orange juice. So I sprayed with some delusion sprays and dabbed them off, and I'm just carrying on. But I'm also going to be playing with um, that mail I got from uh, Scrap and Abby. So I'm going to use this piece. And uh, we got some junk mail this morning, and I kind of laughed because this was me. I need to get my move on. So I want to use that with the rabbit. So I'm going to do some, you know, fancy cutting there and get my rabbit and that phrase out. So I'm just going to go play with them. Hmm? So did you found your rabbit? Yeah, look. It was on a thing for house moving. So always look at your junk mail. I have this little file that I keep ephemera in when I'm, um, you know, because you never know when you're going to use it. So I'll just cut my bunny out. And then I try to break down the paper core so it's not so stiff. Because then it really sticks out on top of your um, artwork. Like, oh, that was junk mail that she just glued on, you know? But I love that it says get your move on because that's so me. When I saw this morning, I actually giggled. I was like, yep, get your move on. Get your butt in gear, honey. Because the day is going to be over before we're supposed to be going out tonight. But I really want to go, but we shall see. My nephew, the one who wrote that song for the Oilers, Connor McDavid, is in town from Toronto and he's performing tonight. So I would really, really like to go support him. We would like to go support him. So, yeah. I've had enough sleep to choke a pony. So this is how I break the core down, kind of like I just kind of crunch it up. I don't want to wreck the woods, but just try to because usually, most papers, there's more, see, you can see here. There's usually two or three layers. There you go. And you can just peel them off. And then it just becomes this really cool, thin piece of papier. Well, that came off really easy. And it's a much more um, malle malleable, malleable, uh, malleable. malleable piece of paper to work with when it's, see, it's just like a regular piece of paper. So I want to put that on my page. And I'm going to try that with this, just a little bright sunshine to the page. And this was from the Museum of Art in Deland, Florida. And let's just see if we can break that core down. Because I just think they're too hard when they're... Do you know what I mean, Richard? Like, it's just too, too thick when you go to work with it in the form that it's in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Richard doesn't do the kind of art, obviously, that I do. We are so different. So sometimes I'm sure it's hard for them to even know what the even heck I'm talking about. See, so now that one's better. So I might put that up there somewhere. I wish I had some sandpaper over here. Because I don't scratch this thing up. But I'll just keep doing this. Don't be afraid to play with your paper. I'm just crunching this piece up. And then opening it up. There, see it's all, so I might not use the whole thing, but I'll probably put a little piece of it. I don't want the black in it, so I'll cut all that out. So we'll be back when we have more to show you. So down here you can see my creation. I took that yellow piece and did it in threes because I believe artistically things should be in odd numbers. 
So I cut a little piece there, one there, and one there. And there's my bunny. Get your move on. And then I found, uh, remember I was talking about these Tim Holtz flashcards? They're really little. They're like that. So I looked through them and I thought the word that applied to me mostly was today, because this is how I'm feeling today. I don't have any of my distress ink out here, so it's really challenging when you want to be using something that's in the house and it's raining and I'm not going to get it. So I'm just going to use what I got. So I'm going to take a little bit of, I used um, Gilder's Paste Wax on there and that Distress Ink, that mauve purpley one, and it's going to spritz a little bit of orange just to, so that it kind of blends in with the picture and then it's going to be glued on the picture. So they all kind of blend in, see? And it'll be in here somewhere. I might just put it on the side like so. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rub-ons, random rub-ons. I have saved these from, I don't even know how old these things are, but that's okay. And this one, it's got alphabets, but it's also got things like stars, moons, just all kinds of random, oh, there you can see better. Well, not really, flowers squares, triangles, just whatever. So I'm just going to take a few of them and add them to this once everything's glued down. So the rub-ons then go on top of this and it just incorporates, it's all about layers, building more and more and more layers on your piece. And how are you doing? Can we show it yet? This one is Indy. It's working on it. This is Indy. Look how cute he is. He is so sweet. He slept over last night, his mummy and him, because his daddy is away, and I got to put him to sleep, and oh my goodness, the cuddles, he's just precious. There is nothing like cuddling with a baby, especially when he's a little chubby chicken like Indy is. And he's the happiest little guy, I tell you, isn't he, Richard? Mm -hmm. He's always just happy so easy to please and you know so yeah I'm gonna take some of these and play around with them so you can see how I've uh, carried on I put rub-ons here and here and here and there and one in the corner there on my bunny right there a fleur de lis so it's kind of hard to see them and that's the whole point of layering and making layers so that no one really sees what you're doing but it's there do you know what I mean and it adds interest and depth. So I'm going to add this button that I've got, this old button that I was using for a, um, what do you call that? Oh, I can't remember. My brain today is really bad. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, I was using for another piece of artwork and it's all grunged up already. And I'm going to put it in the middle of that wheel. Then I'm going to take some paint, just as um, Christina did. Actually, I'm going to use spray. She used paint, but I'm going to use Delusion's White Linen Spray. Just add some speckle and dots on here. Steampunk. That's what I was thinking of. It was a steampunk piece that I was working on. So I'm going to glue that right on there. And then I'll be back. And Richard's just drawn Indy, and he's looking pretty darn cute. Indy, that is. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I might add, I just about, this is a very small page. I'm kind of going overboard. Uh, I was going to add a stamp on here that says, share the moments that bring you joy. I might just do it over here, just because, why not? I put just about everything possible on that page for such a small little page. But what the heck, right, peeps? You're going to go big or go home. So I'll take my archival ink. And this was a Michael stamp. There were a whole bunch of these pre-mounted wooden stamps there a few years back. So I'm just going to put it here. And you don't have to... This is where you're not concerned about how the stamp looks because if some of the words don't show, that's quite... See? It just adds more interest. It doesn't really, yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, 
Let's get rid of all the ink that's on here. Okay, and what did I say I was doing next? Oh yeah. So I'll be back once I do my dots and spray. So I've sprayed with the White Delusions, uh, I think it's called White Linen Spray. And it kind of gives you that same um, illusion of splattering white paint on it. So next I want to put some orange dots on just because why not? Can't dance, right? So I'm going to take some orange acrylic. This one, it is called Pure Pumpkin. Shake it up. I've got a little bit of water in this cup over here because I want the paint to be quite watered down. I don't think I need this much water though. Hang on, I'm just going to throw it outside. Beauty of being outside. There. I don't need that much water. There. And grab a paintbrush that I'm going to splatter with. What's a cool splatter brush? This one is away from you. Splatter away or towards? Away. Oh, <laughs> we'll soon find out, won't I? I can do that way. But those are too those are too big and this brush just broke. Cheap brush. But it'll work for the, here, I'll put glue on the edge. The coffee cup is spilt. Oh. Alright. splattered some. That's funny. Just a few little orange splatters because why not? Thanks Christina Betts for the inspiration for this page. And then once this is dry, I'm going to take that Gilder's uh, paint wax and I am going to go all around the whole page with it. This is my page and number five. Six. Day six? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about grandkids. No, day, day five. Day five. And number six, grandchild, Indy. Isn't he beautiful? And my quote for... Indy is, was life created or are we purely the product of random undirected events? That can't be because look how beautiful he is. <laughs> He's so cute. So this just was straight pencil? Pencil and for the lettering is that. Oh, that pen that, again. That pen Our again. famous pen, Stadler. Maybe we should show this pen because we can dollar something so this is it Stadler dry safe black pen and they came in blue too and here's my page because I was showing you all along so you can see up close you can see the dimensions and um, the shadow of the camera doesn't help much but maybe if I hold it like this you can see all the different uh, layers and dimensions and stuff. So then the last thing I did, I ran around it with that um, Gilder's Paste Wax and then I rubbed it on my finger and just rubbed on the raised parts that I had done the molding on. Can you see there? See? Yeah, so I still am tired, but I need to get my move on like that bunny today. I wish I had that background with Indy. Oh, <laughs> that would have been cool, but I don't do backgrounds, so. But you could try something different. I know. That's I'm... like that art book I got you that mm -hmm. shows how to do that kind of work on backgrounds. Yeah. That and that's cool. the ultimate. Yeah. So maybe one of the next ones you can do. Try them all out. So experiment. I, uh, the one I've got for tomorrow will surprise them. It's, oh, yeah, you It's guys, really cool. Richard thinks it's so funny. <laughs> but anyway, you'll see tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.